the night sky is a very marvelous thing and also from the time being it has attracted the attention of the scholars because of its depth and there is a song of lokata siox song where it said that we are the stars who sing we sing with our light we are the birds of fire we fly over the sky our light is a voice we make a road for the spirits for the spirits to pass over this song is representing the night stars because all the year round the night sky doesn't be same due to the arrangement and rearrangement of night stars and also the constellations of the night stars why this constellation happens and why every month in every month we find different types of constellations in the night sky due to the positioning of the sun and due to the positioning of the sun then the night sky also shapes and reshapes in such a manner so today's discussion the night sky the entire year how all the year round the night sky arranges itself with the brightly stars so first comes this demographic positioning you can find here something that there is also some constellation of stars there is also constellation of stars there is also rearrangement and arrangement of stars and it's just jotted down in very specific manners and these all are the constellations of our nights our skies and all the year round sun has its various positionings various placement and when the sun has some placement here then these night stars impact on the sky and it is then visible on the sky when the sun just ref- goes there then this constellation of the stars are visible in the night sky so in this way we get 12 types of positionings of night stars all around the year and this is called the sign and also it's called the zodiac sign then hey what's your sign <laughs> then let's briefly tour the zodiacal constellations the zodiac comes by its astronomical importance because during the course of the year the sun passes through these areas of the sky so this is the important thing that all the year round the sun passes through these areas of of the sky and as sun passes through these areas of sky then that type of constellations of the stars are visible in the night sky this is important thing then the zodiac okay. there is also the progressions of the sun revolving meant of the earth and also the various zodiacal signs 12 zodiacal signs are there and it's you can just notice here something what do you notice here the some positionings of the stars these are stars and this stars have been marked in a very specific manner uh, as if uh, these are a buns as if these are buns as if these are also a buns and in this way all 12 buns is just revolving all through the year round all through the year round then 
then first comes the Aries the zodiacal signs is called Aries it's just visible in a Mars of the night sky so how this name comes the Babylonians the Egyptians the Greeks and the Persians all agreed on this constellations name of the ram so this is also called a ram so here you can just find the, that type of sign here and also the constellations of night sky here you can just notice how it visualized the night sky just these types of things these stars are visible at the time then comes the Taurus the second month or the month of April so how this name is got the Greeks saw Taurus as Zeus in disguise and the story when that Zeus fell in love with Europa the daughter of Azenor who was the king of Phoenicia so you can just find here the Taurus there are few stars combined together and make this zodiacal sign Taurus. The night sky it seems like this. Seems like this. Then Gemini. You can just see here two just signs combining together. Here, the night sky seems like this, and this is the broad, in broad sense, the clear ideas about the zodiacal signs, about the stars constellations in the night sky. So, how this name is got? Castor and Pollux, the twins of Gemini, were Greek heroes. They were among the men Jason led on his voyages on the Argo. So those t two main of Greek heroes, twin heroes, Castor and Pollux, from their such type of characteristics, this name is got for this type of constellations. Yeah, this is the night sky. You can just see here the night sky and here 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 these these stars combinedly just feels like this then comes cancer cancer you just can see here the picture of a cancer and it's a zodiacal sign this and the constellations of the stars are like this and the night sky it is like this so cancer the crab plays a minor role in the 12 levers of hercules while hercules was busy fighting the multi-headed monster hydra the goddess hera who didn't like hercules sent the crab to distract him so in this way this constellations of the stars is named Cancer. Then what's the significance of the story and the naming? These are different things and it also needs different um, classes, different at that different classes we will just discuss this thing. We are just only narrating the names and uh, how this name originated and what type of constellations do we find in a night sky all around the year? Then Leo. Okay, you can find here the symbol of Leo. Leo. This is the clear picture, and at the night sky there are such stars. It's here is a star. Here is a star. A star. A star. Here is also a star. These all the stars make 
जोडियाकन साइन लियो लियो सो लियो इज द लायन व्हिच इज किल्ड बाय हरक्यूलिस ऑन ऑफ हिज ग्रेट क्वेस्ट लेजेंड सेज दैट द लायन हैड अ हाइट दैट कुरुंड पंक्चर्ड बाय लायरन ब्रोंज स्टोन सिंस ही कुरुंड रीजन विद द फेरोशस बेस हरक्यूलिस स्ट्रंगल्ड इट टू डेथ and the local people are very grateful so this is the story of the leo and from that story did zodiac sign is named so at that sign when some am um, born there may have some impact so this story is also impactful significant to determine the characteristics of that newborn baby so night sky is visible in this way here 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 here, here. those are the night stars then comes virgo lady okay the sign is like this uh, at a night we can see this arrangement of the stars so in roman times the constellations virgo was known as ceres ceres was the goddess of harvest particularly corn her festival was the second week of april the same time that the constellation appears in the spring skies then comes libra libra is related the balance it is commonly thought of as the scales of balance but eventually became known as hertz golden chariot hertz used his chariot every time he wished to emerge in the upper world in search of women so the chariot is pulled by four jet balance horses so it's related with women in balance so the constellations is like this here is the very clear picture and the sign is this then at the night we can see like this this types of arrangement of stars this type of arrangement of stars okay. then scorpio the scorpio you can just see here the picture this picture uh, this all the stars combinedly make this sign so scorpio is an ancient constellation and is one of the original six constellations of the zodiac so it implies that at the old time there are six constellations now we have 12 constellations and among those six constellations Scorpio was one of the greatest. So here you can find the stars, names of these stars, and they combinedly make this sign. The night sky is like this. Very stunning picture, and very clear visualizations of the night sky. you can just find the names of the stars here and here then sagittarius you can just find their arrangement here it is here and how this name came sagittarius origin is unknown some believe that it's a centaur with a bow while others believe that it's an archer others claim that the constellation was invented by the sumerians the sumerian civilizations just invented these constellations in a night sky so it's the invention or discovery of the sumerians they just invented in this way
okay you can find here the night sky how it's arranged how it's arranged in this way very stunning the light glow is from our milky way galaxy okay from our milky way galaxy we can just find like this like this these are the point of stars various stars combinedly make a sign that is called zodiac sign then capricorn here is a picture here is the constellations and at night we just find like this so capricornus has been recognized as a god since babylonian and Chaldean times yes usually it's depicted as a god with a fish tail so a god with with a fish tail so it's the sign of this zodiac symbol you know, how night sky looks this 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 look here this symbol look here yeah. Then here just it's a very as close to the planet Jupiter. The zodiacal sign is very close to the Jupiter. Then Aquarius. Aquarius constellations is like this. Aquarius is a rather faint constellation which would not be famous if it were not part of the zodiac. Aquarius, as its name suggests, is universally associated with water. In most culture, it is drawn as a man pouring water from a bucket. A man pouring water from a bucket. This man arises from the fact that the sun enters Aquarius in early winter when the rainy season begins in many parts of the world. So it's believed that the sun enters at that position, at that place of that circle and then the many parts of the world face rainy season. That's why Aquarius is related with water pouring due to the invent of the rainy season at various places of the world. Here is the sign, constellations, the night sky. The Pisces. Pisces. Pisces was named after Aphrodite and Eros. The story of Pisces originated from the destructive monster Typhon. Typhon was the son of Gaia and Tartarus. This story, from this story, Pisces names came. Okay, you can find here the sign and here is the arrangement, the night sky. Uh, mm -hmm. Then all is visible here, all is visible here, all the stars are visible here. Yeah, this is also visible, cues for you. Till I can't no more I got the horses in the back